हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर श्वेता आनंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिंपलीफाइड डेंटिस्ट्री इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट्स नो अबाउट द मसल्स प्रोड्यूसिंग द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द मैंडबल सो द मसल्स ऑफ द मैस्टिकेशन आर कंसर्न विद मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द मैंडबल एट द टेम्पोर मैंडबुलर ज्वाइंट ड्यूरिंग द मैस्टिकेशन सो फर्स्ट नो वट आर द मसल्स ऑफ मैस्टिकेशन सो दीज मसल्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू ग्रुप्स One is the principal muscles, which are the main group of muscles which help in mastication, and the second one is the accessory muscles. So these muscles do not directly help in the mastication, but this aids the principal muscles in the mastication. The principal muscles of mastication are temporalis, masseter, lateral pterygoid, and medial pterygoid. Now let's see about the accessory muscles. So there are a lot of accessory muscles like the buccinator, suprahyoid muscles, and infrahyoid muscles. But it is not important to know about all these muscles. So the accessory muscles of mastication, which you need to know, are buccinator, digastric, mylohyoid, and geniohyoid. So the different types of mandibular movements are depression. elevation protrusion retrusion and chewing that is side to side movement so now let's know one by one that which muscles help in which type of the movement first let's have a look on the elevation and depression of the mandible so the elevation of the mandible leads to closing of the mouth and the depression of the mandible leads to opening of the mouth so all the principal muscles of the mastication except lateral pterygoid is involved in the elevation so all the four muscles of the mastications are masseter temporalis medial pterygoid and lateral pterygoid among this the first three that is masseter temporalis and medial pterygoid is involved in elevation whereas the lateral pterygoid helps in depression so as you all know that elevation is just opposite to depression that is one leads to opening of the mouth and one leads to closing of the mouth so obviously the muscles which are involved in elevation will not be involved in depression and the muscles involved in depression will not be involved in elevation so you just have to remember the principal muscles and then among all the four muscles the three is used in elevation and only one muscle that is the lateral pterygoid helps in depression along with lateral pterygoid other three accessory muscles are also involved in depression these are the digastric geniohyoid and mylohyoid so in the depression lateral pterygoid and the accessory muscles except buccinator so all the accessory muscles except buccinator that is the digastric geniohyoid and mylohyoid are involved in depression along with all these muscles gravity also plays a major role in the depression of the mandible now let's see about the protrusion and the retrusion protrusion or protraction is the forward movement of the mandible whereas the retrusion and the retraction is the backward movement of the mandible okay so the protraction is caused by the medial pterygoid and the lateral pterygoid so simply you can remember that p stands for protrusion and p stands for pterygoid muscles now come to retrusion So the retrusion of the mandible is caused by the posterior fibers of temporalis. So you can remember that temporalis causes retraction of the mandible. Now come to the side to side movement or the chewing. So during the chewing the medial and lateral pterygoid muscle of one side contracts alternatively with that of the opposite side. Okay? so it is the pterygoid muscle which helps in the side to side movement that is the chewing of the mandible so the pterygoid muscles not only help in protrusion it also helps in side to side movement 
So, I have summarized the movement of the mandible and the muscles producing them in this tabular form. Hope this video was helpful and it helps you to memorize the muscles involved in the movement of the mandible. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, then please like, share and comment down below. And if you want more such contents, then please subscribe to the channel Simplified Dentistry.